Hey, hey, Alexia. Hey, hey, Foster. Can I ask you a quick question? Yes. Apart from my beautiful Southern American accent, what is your favorite English accent? British. You like the British accent? I do. Do you like a British accent from London? Do you like the Cockney accent? Do you like it from the North? Do you like the Scottish accent? Um, I don't know. I like all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Alexia knew that there were that many different accents in Great Britain. I don't think many people know exactly what's happening in Great Britain right now, but that is not for the Cambly ad. <laughs> Definitely not. But the point is, if you want to learn how to speak with a British accent, Australian accent, South African, wherever you want, California, Oklahoma, Alabama, Arkansas, whatever you want to <laughs> do, you can do all of that on Cambly. Isn't that right? Yes. So go ahead and go to cambly.com ou aplicativo do Cambly e coloca o nosso cupom em inglês no Grupo Podcast. Desse jeito você pode ter talvez uma professora da África do Sul, da Austrália, um professor britânico, irlandês, qualquer coisa. Então, vá lá e descubra os diferentes sotaques em inglês. Ok, on with the show. Hey guys. Ok, so let's just begin with this. There is going to be a lot of noise during this episode. We are in a very loud place. So that's out of the way. So today we have a question from one of our students. This was a part of the Ask Me Anything series that we do in sound school. And honestly, this was one of the most difficult questions that I re I've received personally. So I've avoided talking about it. So I brought Alexia in with me <laughs> so we can discuss it together. So Alexia, do you want to read the question? First of all, hello. Hi. Hey, what's up? Welcome to English Necro Radio. Welcome. <laughs> welcome to the show. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> That is Alexia's imitation of John Oliver, a late night British TV host on HBO. Yes. So, this question comes from Antonio. Hello, Antonio. How are you? That's why I feel bad about this question because <laughs> I haven't answered it because I wanted to give a really good, thoughtful answer and I love Antonio and I know that he is a thousand times smarter than I am. <laughs> he is quite literally a genius. So let's just begin with that. Antonio is a genius. I'm an idiot. <laughs> let's ask and the question. And I'm in the middle of it. I don't know what I am. <laughs> so... This was directly to Foster. Why are you not on social media? What is the reason? Is it because you are shy or there is also some philosophical motivation? Okay. So, I am on social media, Alexia, me, hi, as a personal account and as a business account. So, I have Instagram, English in Crew Radio, and English in Crew D business has an Instagram account and a Facebook group, which I try to manage both of those because I think it's important to interact with y'all. And Foster, as a, a person, a physical person... <laughs> <laughs> as compared to Foster the robot? As compared to Foster, English and crew. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He doesn't like social media. He has an account, but he never uses. And... That's it. And that's fine. I have a Facebook account, but I don't log in. But sometimes, like for random events, you have to have a Facebook. So it's there if I need it. But I haven't entered or updated it in years. Same thing with Instagram. All that bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at your last picture on Instagram. It was when you were with Zach. In Charlotte. I remember Having that ice cream. <laughs> That's the last one. Yeah. Things have changed since yes. then. Yes. Okay. So, first, a quick correction on the part of Alexia. She said philosophical or something like that. Philosophical. Philosophical. So, Antonio... I know that Antonio said the same thing. Okay. 
nice attempt at justifying your mispronunciation. <laughs> so, is it because I'm shy or is there a deeper philosophical reason why I'm not on social media? I know that a lot of our listeners want to see me on social media. I don't know why. I don't understand it. <laughs> but, yeah, let's go. I will attempt to answer this question. Number one, yes, I am very shy. I don't like speaking in public. I don't like showing my face on camera. I already do that all day, every day in our courses. On top of that, I record a daily podcast, so I already feel like a lot of my public or... Exposed. Yeah, a lot of my private life is already, maybe not on social media, but it is out in the world, and that's weird. Okay. So, that's just the point number one. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. Point number two. I don't agree with social media in principle. (laughs) Why? This... (laughs) Podcast episode is going to last for a few days. <laughs> no, 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 I'm more. Be, be, be practical. Okay. If you want a more philosophical reason, first, there are ethical reasons. The way that social media companies make money is by stealing your attention and selling your data. So and you, you are the product. Watch. What's her name? The movie we watch? Yeah. The Great Hack. Eh. Uh, Yeah. Well, you should watch that. There are a lot better things you could read. I would recommend a book called 10 Reasons to Delete Your Social Media by Jared Lanier. It's kind of the Bible for us people like that. So there is the, the idea that you are the product, you personally, right? That is kind of messed up if you think about it. But the Second big reason why I do this is my attention. I've noticed a lot in the last few years is just dying. Like I cannot focus the same way. I'm not as creative as I used to be. I am more anxious. I am more stressed. All of that stuff, fear of missing out, that stuff messes with your brain. And I know that I am very susceptible to that Mm -hmm. and personally i don't want to participate in it i don't judge people that do but when people say oh yeah i just use social media for just for keeping up with friends or i personally do not know one person that only uses it for the good things it's either they don't use it or they use it all the time me I don't use it all the time. Yeah, I'm not going to specifically talk about you in this case because we will get into a long discussion about, okay, are you doing this for work or for pleasure? But it's mixed. But yeah, I personally do not have the, I don't know what I want to call it, the mental fortitude, the capacity to keep myself focused if I'm always looking at my phone. Yeah. So I think it's a fair answer and I do agree with you because if you don't like it, you don't like it. If you don't think it's a a good thing for you, that's fine as well. I don't know why people would judge you or the opposite, you know? Like, I think that extremes in everything in life are bad about about anything but that's why sometimes i can like foster can you appear just for a second on our instagram like english and Crew instagram and that's fine no problem at all i think that i managed to do that without you and people understand that because they already know you because of english and Crew radio yeah and that's fine yeah can i give a third point that this is something <laughs> No, I'm actually defending you in this point. 
So I, I've been thinking about this a lot recently, talking with Alexia about this, that we live in an age that we are always connected with our cell phones. I literally spend almost all day, every day in front of my computer. My identity is very, very closely connected with our businesses, with what we do online, with the way we are connected technologically and digitally. And if you imagine what we are doing on the podcast, in our courses, when Alexia goes on Instagram, you are the product. Me? When you're on Instagram, yes. people want to see yeah. you. Yeah. You are selling. It's not like, hey, my name's Alexia. I built this nice chair <laughs> and it's better than this other chair because it has nice no, little comfy seats. No, no, seats. no. People want to, they want to have the, the experience that we are having. Like That's why the other day I was walking to my therapist and I was in front of the the Livraria Lelo and the Convento do Carmo and some places in Porto that it's very cool. And I showed everyone and everyone was sending me back a message like, oh, thank you for sharing. This is awesome. I really want to visit there because this is interaction. And I don't do that because I need to do because there are some days that I don't appear on Instagram at all. And that's fine. But I think that it's cool as well for people to know, okay, Alex is walking to her therapist and she's passing by a very nice place and she wants to share this with us. And that's awesome. And I think that's really awesome. I understand why people like it. I just think it is too difficult for me personally because when you start mixing all of these different identities. So on one hand, we have Foster, <laughs> the person. I am just a normal person. I'm trying to figure my shit out just like every other human being. That person exists physically, right? Then we also have Foster from English no Kruhaju, who you're listening to right now and listen to every day. Then we also have Foster when I'm living in the United States, Foster when I'm living in Brazil, Foster when I'm living in Portugal, Foster when I'm on Instagram and things like that. And all of these things, it's like I can't remember who the first Foster was. <laughs> no, I get it. I get it. And to be honest, it's really hard to maintain like the the Alexia from real life because I do think that we are very, very real here on our podcast. I think that's why people like us so much because everything that we talk about, we do believe in that. We are not like, let's sell ourselves. We need to do this. No, everything that we do is super real. And that's what I try to do on Instagram and the Facebook group as well. Yeah. This is something that I've started thinking about more and more, the psychological toll that it takes on me and I imagine on you as well. When we are talking about English on the podcast, when we are talking about sound school, we are really, you know, we're telling people, hey, listen to us. We have good things to say. We can help you with your English. And that's so strange because we are really, I mean, it's really difficult for this not to be like the most narcissistic, egomaniac thing in the world because we're doing it from a really good place. But every single day we are telling people, hey, you should listen to us. You should take our courses because we have things to offer and we do. But in a lot of businesses, they can separate those things, right? You can sell a product. You can, I don't know, if you have a physical service business, you go to your business and then you leave. But nowadays, all of that's connected forever and the lines really start becoming more blurred between, okay, what, 
what is real, what am, when am I putting on a performance, when am I actually being my authentic self. Okay, so <laughs> we have a lot to think about and I think that people will listen to the, uh, this episode and will think about it as well. <laughs> Because <laughs> Antonio I, did ask, is there a more <laughs> philosophical reason? Yeah, so I Antonio, should have just yes, said, there is. <laughs> too long, don't read, yes. <laughs> But that's it. I think it was a good question also to explain explain for to the new people who are just starting with English no Kruhaja and following us everywhere to understand why is always me putting my face out there on social media and that's why and both of us we don't think that it's a problem at all because foster trust why me. is because alexia is a champion <laughs> no, and not. she takes so many bullets for the team <laughs> and i am not strong enough to do that i'm not putting myself in the line of fire so take it easy on alexia If someone comes with bullshit <laughs> for me, how do I say that? Yeah, say that, yeah. Ah, se alguém vier com alguma merda, eu simplesmente ignoro. Simple as that. Yeah, I don't even, I don't see it, I don't hear about it. Speak no evil, hear no evil, see no evil. You know, the little monkey emojis. Yeah. That's me on social media. <laughs> Okay, I think that is more than enough information. Thank Thanks, you, Antonio. Antonio, <laughs> you are the man. I'm sure that he is going to think, hmm, Foster is stupider and <laughs> much more weird than I thought he was. Antonio, I wait for your answer on my email or Instagram message. I don't care. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Muito Obrigada por escutar mais um episódio aqui do Inglês no Cru Rádio. Sem você, a gente não seria nada. E aí, eu queria falar uma coisinha rapidinha com você. Nós temos os News and Reviews. É uma novidade que a gente acabou de criar. As novidades são que nós não estamos abertos para Sound School nesse momento. Mas você pode ter muitos recursos de grátis e muitas novidades se você entrar no nosso site. Tá? Lá vai ter tudo explicadinho para você. E as reviews, eu vou ler agora uma review muito simpática do Fábio Pantoja, que falou, o melhor podcast de inglês. Me divirto todas as manhãs escutando, aprendendo e aumentando o vocabulário. Gente, vocês já não têm noção do quanto é importante as reviews. Então, você que gosta da gente, vai lá e deixa uma review. Tá bom? Muito obrigada!